In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase or decrease an amount by a percentage, which means you want to find a part of that amount or that value and then add it on or take it off. So I'm going to show you two different methods in being able to increase or decrease. So let's start with our first example. It says increase $200 by 10%. So we're going to go with method one. We're going to calculate 10% and then add it on. So here I know that 100%, my total value is worth $200. So 10% is going to be worth just $20. So if I want to increase by 10%, I now want 110%. And that's simply adding these together, and my total value is $220. So I've added on the percentage that I found. In method two, we're going to first add the 10% to 100%. So we're going to start with we want. 110% of the $200 and we're going to use that to, as a calculation. So to find 110% of $200 it means we've got a percentage which is over 100 lots of $200. Now this one's easy enough to do by hand but let's have a calculator nearby just to help us. 110 over 100 times 200 over 1. Well, we can see that we can do lots of things here. I can say 200 divided by 100. That's going to leave 2 over 1. So what I've actually got is 110 times 2, which I know is $220. Let's write that one again. Or I can think of, in a calculator, 110 over 100 times 200 is like 1.10 lots of 200. And checking that on our calculator gives us the 220. I love looking at the decimal 1.10 because this tells me I've got one whole of my value the $200 plus 10% more. So let's see this in action again with some not so nice values. So let's have a calculator handy. I'm going to increase 3,658 by 17.5%. So I'm going to calculate 17.5% and add it on. Well, 100% of my value is 3,658. So 7.5%, sorry, 17.5. Well, this is 17.5 over 100, lots of 3,658. So I'm going to grab my calculator. 17.5 divide 100, lots of 3,658 gives me $640.15. So now this is going to be increased, so I'm going to add them together. That's going to give me $4,298.15. Let's confirm this with our method two. This is where I'm going to find 117.5 percent of 3,658. So to put 117.5 percent in our calculator, that's 117.5 measured out of 100. So 117.5 over 100 lots of, so times 3,658 and we get that same answer, $4,298.15.
So you may choose whatever method, method one or two, that works for you. We can use these same methods if we actually want to decrease an amount by a particular percentage. We simply find that percentage of the amount and then subtract it from its total. So let's have a look at method one. We're going to decrease by 5%. So let's find 5% of 589 kilos. In actual fact, to make it a little bit easier, I could find 10% because that's very easy. I'm going to divide my total by 10. That's 58.9 kilos. So 5% is going to be half of that, which will be 29.45 kilos. So I've got my 5%. If I wanted to use my calculator, remembering that 5% is 5 over 100 lots of the 589 kilos as our total value. Now I wanted to decrease by 5%, which means I want to subtract that 5%. So 589, take away that 29.45 kilos, and that's going to give me a total of 559.5 five kilograms. So I've just reduced or decreased my total value by 5%, so I should get a value that's smaller. Let's have a look at method two. So method two says, rather than find 5%, let's just look at what we actually want to have remaining. And we want to remain or keep 95%. So let's take the 5% off the 100%. So I actually want to find 95% of the 589 kilos. So we could grab our calculator, 95 over 100, lots of 589, and we will get the 559.55 kilos. So we can concentrate on what we want to keep, which is 95% of the total value. So I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at question four. I want you to decrease 500 litres by 90%. So it means I want you to get rid of 90% of it. So have a go at method one or method two, and then come back and have a look at both options and their solutions. Okay, for method one to decrease, I'm going to find 90% and then take it away. A quick way is saying that 10%, well, that's just going to be 50 litres. So 90% is going to be nine lots of that, which is 450 litres. So if we decrease by 90%, we're going to say what we started with, the total value of 500, take 450, that will leave 50 litres. In method two, I want to keep just 10%. I want to subtract 90%. So I only want to find out what 10% of 500 litres is. Well, that's a real easy one. We know where the decimal is. That will simply leave us with 50 litres. But thinking about what we actually want to keep rather than calculating what we take away. 